Hello everybody, my name is Mickinus. Hop in and bed, welcome boys. back. Let's go. To that dragon. Boys. Can't sit in bed. Oh. Can you at least tell us a story? Unfortunately. We had some sad sad news. But I think we're okay now. We've just gotta get through this storyline. Alright. Press the button. Um, sure. Okay. Right. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel the baby. Okay. Yes. Joel the baby knight. But he's also Joel the very brave knight. He was right. being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Oh. Hey, this is a bit weird. Okay. Oh. Oh. Because of a streamer? Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. Where does the dragon live? Um. In a oh, forest. Oh, in, in a forest. Oh, gosh. Is the dragon big? Very big. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> does the dragon breathe fire? Whoops. Ow. Uh, what? Oh, How much fire, you guys. Aha. So, Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, Space. Or maybe a spear. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just... that sounds good. So, huh. so brave, Sir Joel, with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and his super jumping ability was being chased by Whoa. a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he also has grace. That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of like help. I'm flying without wings. You know, and awesome. he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. You know, some very brave knights have fought this dragon and been lost. And some are able to drive the dragon Ooh. off. And they can go home and they can get fighting. There you go. They must be bad. Oh, got wrong button. My bad. Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time. Ah. A long time. Yeah! I'm doing awesome at that. My armor! But, no! Joel found a nice empty cave where he could rest. Whoa, it just and turned it into 3D. It seems like the dragon couldn't find him. Awesome! Ha! Just in case. But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. Oh no. Run! Well, that dragon's going to kill Joel. Joel's going to lose. Run, Joel! No. Because Joel is just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. You're right. A baby can't kill a dragon. But ah. that's the best part of the story. God fights for Joel. Uh -huh. So he fights that dragon cancer ah. right with Joel. And we know that God can win even if Joel can. Whoa! Damn it! We seem so well. Well, what about Tim from Church Mom? He died from cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have grace? Ah! Of course, God fought for Tim too. Tim fought. I so can't fly about that. And he was so brave and so strong that God let there him we rest. Go. It may have seemed like the dragon won because Tim died. Ow. We know that Tim's in heaven and that he's with God and that God is so proud of him. <laughs> so maybe for Tim, getting to be done fighting was first. Oh. <laughs> You're missing every single shot. This dragon sucks. Oh God. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Oh, okay. Ow. 
Damn it. <laughs> no! You shall not defeat me! Oh god! No! <gasps> he lost the battle. And that's what this story is about. He shall live on. Drowning. What is going on? I'm back here. Why am I back here? There's, there's something I can do, right? Okay. We're back at this place. Okay. Ah, we get to continue. Whoa. Ryan! Oh. Oh, Ryan, get in the boat. <laughs> I can't. What? You have to, you'll drown. We're already drowning. What? How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. <laughs> Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going! Right. And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! It, it is floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. No! Don't go back under! I'm Maybe sure my expectation read. looks like denial, but seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be here. Uh -huh. In some ways, I feel more certain, not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer, because this chapter is almost finished, and we will have an ending one way or the other. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Oh, these things are getting tough now. People's conciliatory words of comfort meant to reassure us and help us accept Joel's death don't sit well with me. They aren't offensive because I know the heart behind them is good, but they are weak words. Because it's so obvious to me that death is the given. I don't have to work to be ready for it or accept it. It is coming whether I would accept it or not. It has been coming slowly for so long. I don't have to work to understand that Joel is dying. It is obvious. Heaven is amazing. And so I'm not worried about death. It will come regardless of where I stand and wait. But now, death is circling close enough for redemption to finally feel closer. Damn. Oh, did I just go back? God damn it. My bad. Hey, look, the couch. Ah. Uh. Some comfort. I can dress these tired wings now. There's another bottle to retire. This 
is the part of the story where a daring rescue can thwart Jeff's intentions just in time, perhaps when it looks like it's already too late. I want to watch for that. I don't need to focus my eyes on death, studying it in its slow progression. Its course is already clear. But there is a glory that is coming, and its journey to us is wild and quick and frightening. And I want to be watching for that glory. I want to stand trembling in awe before God and his power. Not sure that this thing that we've asked for is something we can quite manage, but trying anyway. Death is the given. But the life that is possible now for Joel, the miracle that could come now that death is so close, is something worth pursuing, worth risking everything to see with my own eyes. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, we're going back under. And there's the creepy trees in a ball thing again. He's still under the... He's still under the water. Come here. Keep clicking! Where, where is he going? No! You meant to go upwards! You silly. Killing himself is not right. Dehydration. Huh. It's this room Sunset again. looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Whoa. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the ones who choose the colors that heal. Green for life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort? Purple stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small and sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. God. Maybe get up then? It is probably a good sunset. I just can't see it. Blue. Purple. <laughs> oh, okay. mm, The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Warm. And salty. Like tears. I've never known the ocean to be warm. It's usually cold. And it's always cold, actually. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. I hate this room. I didn't used to. 
for a, for a moment it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, nothing will take him. Right?
Peace. Be still. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're going to die. Where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep. He's asleep. In the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up. And he says to the storm, quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Yeah, I think I've read that uh, when I was at school. A long time ago. Why is there a car here? And how did you get the car here? Oh, we're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in California. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something that everyone would do. About three and a half hours, bud. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bags. And it's my turn to be the king. Oh, oh Elijah, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. But I don't know if you would ask a I know. Let's let everybody be a king. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, Kings and queens. We must do what he yeah. says. Everybody's a king and queen. And he's a monkey. Somebody come out to the king. There's a monkey tickles. There's a monkey tickles. Five seconds to eat. Oh, am I going back on myself again? Oh, my bad. Okay. So I should be able to go over here. Yeah, king is... Allow you to be the king. Aww. Just kidding! <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Nope. Oh, okay. What's the matter? Elijah, was that too loud for you? Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. You were too loud, Marcus. I'm guessing I have to go to that rock, or... Maybe this is it. Maybe this is where I'm meant to be. Let's build a sandcastle. Or not. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, well, okay then. Maybe I have to go that way. Hang on a sec. Yeah. No, nope. That was wrong. Hey, I can tell her. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? Everyone does eventually, I suppose. Come on, we need more hope, man. Well, I always said I'd try and learn to play the guitar. There we go. What's going on? What's happening now? But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? 
Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? He likes to think and could about my this guy. soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? I hope. That lighthouse shines really far. Oh. Now what's going on? Click. This is even when Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. He did. Well, that's what it says, anyways. This way again? Whoa, wait, this is different. Going on top. Oh. I'm still moving. Okay. Whoa. Hello. We came out of nowhere, then. I'm sorry. I should have known we both end up in the same place. We always do. Yeah. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. I don't know. Hey. Okay, now we're right next to you. Anything I can do? Oh wait, I can. Okay. Is there more to this lighthouse that I was expecting? Oh wait, there's a door. Yay, we get to go in the lighthouse. Ah. Oh. That's good. I hope we don't have to change the light bulb. I bet those things are enormous. That would uh hell is this? Hey there, little girl. Ooh. I think you broke your sword and shield. Right, kids. You know what time it is. Oh, he's on the tablet. Okay. okay. Those tree things just get weirder and weirder. Look at that. Now they're like trying to be arches. So odd. Okay. Is that a bunch of scaffolding? Am I in a cathedral or something? some scaffolding. Is that the dad's face? It looks like it. Whoa. What is that? We must venture forth. Let's take little belly be Joe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More flames are appearing on the bench as well. Like, hey, don't you go out? Stop going out! Stop it! It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. 
Keyboard is weak. And it's tiny too. What the? The creepy trees are forming again. going on now. Okay. Can I move? I can't move. Screens and everything here. And Lord, you say Ah, they were all let that. Okay, so I can't do anything else. Oh, it's 
gone dark. Whoa, that's changed. Okay, it's gone dark again. I don't know what this means. Oh god, the ball thing's outside too. It's gonna get to it. Whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm moving. Wait, what? No, go back out. Okay, there we go. What's going on? It's really dark. No! He went out! He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. Ooh. He was not in the fire. He was here. Sounds deep. Let's keep listening. The eagle. Is it an eagle? It looks like it's an eagle. So, what was that? There's a heart in the center of that eagle. That's pretty cool. Loading, of course. Picnic at the edge of the world. Well, I'm gonna end it here, so thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye! Oh wow, this is that conversation. Imagine we're having that conversation. Well, it's it's in the frontal cortex, and it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size is any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. with you that's a great it's idea personal. go ahead look i just hiked for two it, days so i don't really follow uh, it whatever it is you're doing okay. right now you take a stab at what's wrong with me fine okay. then can i sleep forever 